Welcome to Century Crafts and Kitchen Renovation Part 21. It's been 76 calendar days since demolition, or 30 days since the original promised completion time of May 12th. At this point, we've exceeded the schedule by more than 50%. I'm going to talk about what's been done in the past week and give you a tour of the current state. As I said in my last vlog, we are nearly there. On Tuesday, the countertop was delivered and installed. That was June 6th and hoped for and expected. Danny came early and made sure the site was ready for the delivery, but didn't stay for the festivities. A crew came from Quartz Co. The countertop is three centimeters thick. That long run there um, is probably 125 kilos or 275 pounds. The tolerances in the manufacturing are incredibly small. Despite putting a shim next to the fridge panel to give them a couple more millimeters, they ended up rubbing the wall on the other side. Um, after installing, they glued, caulked, and drilled the holes for the taps and left. That was that. Aleem from Andros was here to supervise. We had met him once in the fall, the first time we went to the showroom. The next day, Wednesday, Danny, Andre, and Ray came. They did a lot of trim work, such as around the window, transitions in the floor, and prepared for the plumber. The next day, Thursday, Danny and Vinny the plumber came. Yes, we have a plumber named Vinny. They reconnected the radiators. They plumbed the sink, dishwasher, and the fridge. The kids are super happy that the dishwasher is back in action. They've been doing our dishes by hand all this time. It was a good lesson for them in group projects. Vinny and Danny had a hard time getting the ice and water working on the fridge. In the end, Jeff figured out that it was the wiring harness on the door that was not connected properly. The fridge thought the door was open and there's an interlock that prevents the water from flowing. On Friday, Danny came back on his own to apply a second coat of paint and clean up. I want to show you how this stair turned out. So according to building code, risers should be no more than eight inches. What we had going in was seven and seven eighths, so right about here. So the subfloor has added this, plus the new tile has added some more height. So what we have right now is about eight and three quarters inches. So it's almost a full inch, um, three quarters of an inch more than we had before. And I feel that additional height every time I go down the stairs. There's a moment of weightlessness as I take this first step and it's kind of uncomfortable. I've also seen my son trip on this stair multiple times. So once we're done this project, we're gonna to have to take out this carpet and redistribute that inch of height, probably like a 16th of an inch at a time through the stairs going down. What we have left is the backsplash to be installed, which should take a couple of days. The electrician will make one final visit to put up the pendant over the sink and the range hood. That should take a day. Finally, Andros needs to come and look after their punch list. Let me show you a few of the items. Missing cabinet front, missing door glass and proper installation, missing shelf pin, missing pin and hinge restrictors, missing veneer. We are kind of using the kitchen, but not really. The fridge, dishwasher, sink, and microwave are working, but we're not preparing food here or using the cabinets for storage. That's it for today. Uh, we're getting to the end. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about any aspect of this renovation.